If you're anything like me, when you're trying to break into Git Analytics, you've probably taken a bunch of certs, a bunch of courses, and you might be wondering if the Google Data Analytics cert is still worth taking in 2024. So I myself have taken a cert back in 2021. I came from a bit of a unique background taking a cert. I was already in the field of analytics and I wanted a bit of a more structured education. For those of you who know me, my name is Rohan. I've been in analytics for the past couple of years now. I've worked on Wall Street, I've worked at startups, and I've also worked at big tech companies. And you might be wondering, why did I take the cert? I come from a pretty atypical background. I studied business in undergrad, and I come from a very business background. And I had all finance internships and I was able to pivot into this field. So one thing I had was a bunch of imposter syndrome. I was working as an analytics, but I didn't feel like I really belonged there. So I felt like taking this cert would allow me to have a bit of a more traditional path. I'd go over some of the stuff that uh, one of the largest and one of the most respected tech companies classifies as a data analyst. One of the reasons I like this cert so much is it's actually built by a company versus a school. I think when you have companies building certs, they actually know what they want their data analysts to do on the job. So they go over some of the soft skills, some of the domain knowledge that maybe schools don't go over and more updated technologies. I remember I've taken some CS classes in undergrad and I remember they went over some very outdated tools in tech like SPSS, which don't use that much. Stata, which is mainly for economics, but you're not gonna actually be using this in the tech industry. So I think a cert that a big tech company makes like Google can be very well worth it, even if you do come from an academic background where you actually went over CS or analytics. Is it possible to become a data analyst with no degree? Well, this is what the Google Data Analyst Cert aims to do to try to help people transition into careers in tech. In fact, a lot of tech companies are trying to upskill their own workers saying a lot of the stuff you learned in your degree or in your computer science classes aren't as relevant as they are today because technology is constantly changing. So in response to this, Google itself came up with Coursera and came up with a Google Data Analyst Cert. I myself have taken this cert and this video is sponsored by Coursera to go over the cert. So I'm going to give an honest review. I haven't taken a sponsorship so far. For me, I want to take sponsorships that the products I actually believe in and products I've actually used. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to walk you through a quick overview of what we're going to be doing. So this video is going to be divided into a bunch of different parts. The first one is going to be the overview of the cert. We're going to be going over who it's actually for, a comparison of the cert versus other certs. Is it still relevant to the job market today in 2024? And lastly, I'm going to go into a conclusion and who I actually recommend it for. So I think there are going to be three types of people who are going to be taking the cert. One, the person who's in college who just wants to get a bit more formal education in data analytics or data science. Two, the person who wants to transition careers, maybe in a completely unrelated field like healthcare, maybe you work in retail and you want to learn analytics and pivot into that tech company with these toolkits here. Or the third type, maybe you're already in analytics and you're still a junior member and you want a bit more of a structured learning approach like me and you ended up taking the cert. So cert itself is a bunch of eight core series. It's recommended for absolute beginners who want to learn analytics and it's a very flexible schedule. They say it takes six months and 10 hours a week, but I know people who get it done in one to two months. It just depends how much time you have to dedicate for a week. And you actually get a cert, you can actually show employers and put on your resume after you finish with it. I believe the instructors actually work at Google. I know Sindas, a fellow YouTuber, she actually is one of the instructors here. She also makes content on analytics. So I know they have, that's another green flag. When you have instructors who actually work in the field, teaching something, that matters a lot more than a bunch of just career lecturers who have never actually worked in the field. One of the things I like about the cert, it goes over a lot of projects. You're gonna have a portfolio ready at the end of the cert, and you actually have an employer recognized cert from Google itself. So let's go over these eight courses that they offer here. The first course is Foundations in Data. So you'll actually be going over key concepts in analytics, data, data analysis, and data ecosystems. For some of you who are just breaking into this field and have no knowledge of how a database works, what are the different tables? How do you pull from a data warehouse? I think this will go over a pretty in-depth overview of how you as a data analyst will interact with the database. It just goes over the high level definitions, what analytical thinking actually means with specific examples. The next course is ask questions to make data-driven decisions. So I don't know about you, this was probably my favorite course inside this whole cert because it goes over more of the soft skills you need as a data analyst. So you go over how to explain problem solving roadmap. You go over to discuss the use of data and decision making processes. You also demonstrate the use of spreadsheets complete basic tasks of data analysts, including entering and organizing data. And you describe the key ideas associated with structured thinking. So analytical thinking is probably the biggest pillar of data analysis. You need to be able to figure out what type of analysis is applicable for what problem. Then you need to be able to communicate with different stakeholders why this analysis makes the most sense. So a lot of you guys think may think data analysis is very like sexy work where you're doing a bunch of analysis, you're doing a bunch of machine learning, but in reality, you're probably doing a bunch of more boring work. Like you're communicating with stakeholders, you have to practice your soft skills, you're presenting, you're figuring out what analytical toolkit is best for what problem. So it's not all about coding in Python or Tableau or Power BI, whatever tool you're using. So I think this unit also goes over a bit of spreadsheeting. I think they'll probably use Google Sheets here. So the next course here is prepare data for exploration. 
So as we just mentioned, data analysis, a huge part of it is actually just data preparation. What does data preparation mean? So oftentimes data is messy. In the workforce, data isn't as clean as your probably Kaggle data set that you're used to seeing. Data is missing, data is in the wrong format, you're combining a bunch of different tables together and marrying the data sets. So you have to really learn how do you actually prepare data for an analysis? Because sometimes the data you get for an analysis may be very biased and you need to figure out how do you make it as unbiased as possible. Next thing you go through is you figure out the best practices for organizing data itself. So I think it's very important that they actually included a whole course inside this eight course series on just data preparation. So the next course here, we go over process data from dirty to clean. So now that we've figured out how to prepare data for exploration, how do you actually process the data for analysis? So it looks like here they're doing a bit of data cleaning in SQL, and I saw that maybe we've gone over a little bit of R as well. So it looks like the stuff you're gonna learn here is defining different types of data integrity and identify risk to data integrity. You then learn how to develop basic SQL queries for uses on database. And then next you learn how to apply basic SQL functions on clean string variables in a database. And lastly, you learn to describe the process of verifying data cleaning results. So the next module here is analyzing data to answer questions. So here it says what you're gonna learn is discuss the importance of organizing your data before analysis by using sorts and filters, convert data and format data, and apply the use of functions and syntax to create SQL queries to combine data from multiple database tables. And you go over describing the use of functions to conduct basic calculations and spreadsheets. So here it's another extended cut of using SQL and actually doing some basic calculations in SQL. The next course here is share data through the art of visualization. What you're doing in this module is you're actually using a tool called Tableau. Tableau is a business intelligence tool. Think of it as another alternative to using like a Power BI or a Looker. Uh, so they use Tableau for data visualization and you actually get to understand its uses. Then you go into a bit of data-driven stories. So those of you who've been on this channel for a while, you know I'm huge on storytelling with data. There's a great book I recommend you getting, literally called Storytelling with Data. And if you can't tell a proper story with data, and you can't convince your stakeholders about your recommendation or the insight you generated from your analysis, all the work is for nothing. They won't take your analysis seriously if you aren't able to paint a clear picture as to why your analysis. So I love how they have this data-driven stories. I love how they go over how to actually story tell with data. They go over principles and practices associated with presentation. Presenting is 50% of the battle itself. After you finish the analysis, you have to present it to your customers. The next unit is data analysis with R programming. So I myself actually started with R. That was the first programming language I learned. Before SQL, before Tableau, before Python, R was the first language I learned for data analysis. And in my experience in industry, I've only had one company where we used R with R Shiny. A lot of you may be concerned, like, should I take this cert? I actually want to learn Python because I heard it's more applicable to industry. So what I recommend doing is it's very easy to switch between R and Python. Once you learn one, the packages are very similar in terms of the use cases. And if you understand the basic definitions of like what a different data type is, what a function is, the programming principles are pretty much the same. The syntax is just a bit different. And I think if you just spend a few weeks, if after you learn R or after you learn Python, it's very easy to learn the other language. So I wouldn't worry too much about it going over R, but if you are very worried, Maybe you wanna go with another alternative. Maybe you can find another Python course online to just couple with this course. But I think there's no issue with actually learning R and assert itself. I've used it at companies. And I think as you get more senior as in your career, you become a data analytics manager, you can actually choose the tech stack at the companies once you get to that level. So just figure out, just a matter of personal preference, the, the actual analysis, both of these tools can get the job done. R, in my opinion, is better for statistics and high-level data science. Python, on the other hand, is better for general development. You can use it for software engineering, you can for game development, and data science and data analytics. So it's more general purpose, but if your goal is just data analysis and data science, R is not a bad option as well. So the next course here is the Google Data Analytics Capstone, a complete case study. So here you get to differentiate between a capstone project, case study, and portfolio. You get to identify key features and attributes to complete a case study. You get to apply practices and procedures associated with data analysis process to give it a set of data. So I think it's great here. They're actually going through a case study. They're going through a capstone and you're actually applying with what you learn. In my experience, I've taken tons of courses online and I would just watch the videos, click through all the videos and feel like I'm learning something. But in reality, I wasn't learning anything. You learn by doing, you learn by practice. And I love how they have a capstone here to really just wrap everything together. And for this price point, I mean, it's totally worth it. You get to have a cert from a reputable company it might totally be worth it. So who's the cert actually for? So I recommended earlier it's for three types of people. It's for people who want to transition careers. Let's say you work in retail, healthcare, and you have no idea, you're a complete beginner, and you want a roadmap to actually learn analytics. 
I would say this is great for complete beginner. The second group of people is if you're in university and you're majoring in something completely unrelated like I was, like economics or business, and you wanna couple your experience in business with analytics, this cert is great to couple with your university education. In the last group of people, this is probably more of a rare case, but I think Google also released a Google Advanced Data Analytics cert you could probably take. If you're already in the industry working as a data analyst or business intelligence analyst, you could probably take this cert to get a bit more of a structured education if you have a bit of imposter syndrome like I did back in 2021. So I've taken other certificates in this niche in data analytics, and I think Google did a great job with the production quality, the instructors. A lot of the competitors to this cert had just have slideshows with no face, and it's just very dry. I think Google did a pretty good job of not making it as dry, having it be a bit more interactive than its competitors. So I would highly recommend this cert over others. I think the cert itself makes sense if you are a very self-starter learner, you just want a roadmap to learn a new skill. It's a pretty good alternative, a much cheaper alternative to boot camps and master's degree if you have that self-discipline to really sit down for a few months and actually finish the cert and actually be able to practice the projects on your own. So there is also a career aspect of the, this Google Data Analytics cert. You get exclusive access to career resources upon completion. You get a resume review, you get interview prep, and you get career support. And you also get to connect with 150 plus US hiring organizations in Google's employer consortium in Google's network. So some companies are Google, Salesforce, Adobe, T-Mobile, and Wells Fargo, just to name a few. So I really like how they're incorporating the career support in addition to actually the material. So once you learn the material, you can directly dive into the career stuff. You can get your resume reviewed, you can prepare for those data analytics interviews, and you can also just get the career support you actually need. As of the day of recording this, there's actually 2.1 million people already enrolled in the cert. And I do wanna talk about, we've gone over a lot of the pros of the cert, who it's for. I wanna talk about the downsides of the cert. So in my opinion, after you finish the cert, you're not gonna be getting knocked on or emailed by a bunch of recruiters adding this to your LinkedIn saying, hey, I wanna hire you, I wanna hire you, and I wanna interview you for this role. That's just not gonna happen. Let's say you graduate from university and you get, you even if you graduate from an MIT computer science degree, that's still not gonna happen. So you really need to understand, you need to couple this with a bunch of projects and you still have the initiative to apply for jobs yourself and just understand just, just having the cert alone without actually practicing what you're doing and without actually getting good at the skill, will not get you hired. You need to look at this as a supplementary tool in your arsenal that you can use to help land your first role. You should not just have this in your resume and expect to get a job at one of your top dream companies. Bear in mind, a lot of people have this cert and you need to do something to really differentiate yourself from other people. And the three levels I recommend maybe doing is maybe you wanna couple this with a degree, or maybe you wanna couple this with more advanced projects, or maybe you wanna couple this with networking. Maybe you wanna set up calls with people at some companies you wanna work with, and then try to just say, hey, I'm working on this cert, I'm about to finish it. Are there any opportunities on your team or at your company that you think I would be a good fit for? So I wouldn't just rely on the cert alone. Is it still relevant to the job market today? Yes and no. So yes, some companies like Google itself made this cert, they're obviously gonna recognize it if you finish this cert and you have some pretty high quality projects, that means you've done enough for Google to recognize you as a data analyst. You've gone through their curriculum itself, but a lot of companies may not recognize it as well as like a big tech company or Google. So not all companies will recognize it, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't take the cert just for the cert itself. I would spend more time actually learning the material, learning the projects, then just thinking, rushing through everything, not doing a good job and just getting the cert. So really take your time, practice this as much as possible. Don't just skip through the videos and just do your best. Treat it like you're what it is. It's a learning opportunity. At the end of the day, the people that are gonna get hired are the people that are passionate about what they do, the people that do the best work possible versus the person who just rushes through the cert just to get it because they think it's gonna be promised a job. If that were the case, these 2 million people would all have jobs immediately after finishing this cert. So do something that separates yourself. Potential jobs, you can go to a data analyst job. I've also seen people take this cert who don't don't want to go into data analytics, who want to stay in maybe finance or healthcare, and they just wanted to learn this skills in addition to their skill set. Remember, data analysis isn't just a job, it's an entire skill set. In fact, I know a lot of jobs are requiring SQL now that have nothing to do with data analysis. They might be investment banking, they might be just finance jobs, they might be even research. You need to know data analysis. So data analysis has transcended just the data analysis job. It's literally just a skill that a lot of jobs are requiring. So even if you don't want your data analyst job, taking the cert may still be a good idea. 
I wouldn't narrow it down yet when you're getting started in your career. Get your first job, figure out what you like, figure out what you don't like, and then make a decision as you go through with your career because I promise you it will all work itself out. So I think this is totally worth it. You get a 14 day free trial. If you don't like it, you can just refund yourself. I would just try it out. The video qualities are top notch. I recommend this for anyone who feels like they want to break into analytics. It's a great roadmap. It's a great starting point, but I wouldn't solely just depend on this to just think employers are gonna come knocking on your door right away. But highly recommend taking, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next one. Thank you.